Well, hello, and welcome to another installment of me building my railroad. I'm going into my new train room. I've been very busy working on trying to make a new railroad room for my layout. Now this room is a little smaller than the original room that the layout was in, but I don't have any hardly anything in this room, so it's actually bigger. Um, as you can see, I've got my table. My table's already set up with my foam laid out. I've got easy access because there's nothing underneath the tables. Uh, to get so I can get to the power plugs. I have three power plugs in here. I'm going to be adding another uh, Circuit breaker enabled power strip to the one that's to the power cord that's on that wall The best thing about this is, is I can close the door all the way It's going to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, I've got a closet that's kind of in the way, but that's all right. It's all good. Um, but yeah, this was, it was a hard move. Um, it's already taken me almost a week to get it this far, but I have gained so much more room that I can add to my layout. I can put another uh, six foot table another six foot table along this wall here uh, and maybe have enough room to put another uh, four foot table along this wall here and that will almost triple the amount of space that I have and that will be an incredible sight to see um, it just like I said, it's, it's taken me a minute to get it done. Yeah, granted, I don't know if I'll be able to reach much of anything in that back corner back there, but that's all right. If I have to, I can pull the table out and I can cut a, cut a hole in back there and uh, redo my corners. But I'm hoping if I want to, I've got a helix and I can put it right here because that's what this big wide area right here was was made for was to put the helix in and with it here I'll be able to get to more of it than I could uh, the other way if I have to I can remove this other uh, closet door here and empty out the closet and that'll give me room to get in behind there to be able to get into the helix on that side so yeah I'm I'm stoked it's still a lot of work in progress, and like they say, you're never finished with your railroad, right? Uh, I'm just getting started, and I've already seen some errors in my ways, and I'm trying to fix them before I get to them. You know, troubleshoot it before I get there. Um, as you can see, I really haven't permanently laid down any track, so that's not a bad thing necessarily. Um, I know I've got a great big huge uh, crack right here uh, in my foam work, but uh, I'm going to probably take some shims of foam and level that out or maybe use uh, some plaster of Paris or something, just build it up till it's even, Steven, or I might just cut it out and put in a couple bridges. Um, it just depends. I want to leave that section there like that so in case I have to move I can lift up this big piece of foam here and then lift that piece of foam over there and then when I get the other tables put in I'll fit the foam to the tables so that you know I can lift that foam out when I need to um, as you can see I already have plenty of the white foam that I formed the bottom of uh, my original uh, foam for 
and I still have plenty of pink foam and uh, with the advent of a new vehicle uh, uh, minivan I can actually purchase my own foam now which is is awesome uh, so like I said I'm, I'm really 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 excited uh, I wanted to get these tables set up just to see how they would be and um, it's way better than what I thought I was going to do it a different way but I'm glad that I did it this way instead because um, it like I said it leaves me so so much more room to put in stuff on this this wall here and that wall there uh, and still have a 30 inch entryway into the center um, and the only problem like I said I'll have is that far corner there and, and then of course maybe this corner here but of course you know I can always put a backdrop in uh, and cut that cut that off and not go all the way to the corner so it's no big deal I can put uh, try and put in some uh, mountains hills whatnot so that I can uh, you know not have to be able to reach all the way back there in case of derailment and of course I'd like to have a nice big long run this way also I've got some pretty long trains train actual train sets um, that I'd like to run and the, the the way I have the layout set up yeah I don't think I'll be able to run very long trains on it so this is my new train room um, yeah the lighting is really kind of icky but what do you expect I'll get some LED light bulbs put into uh, the light up ahead, above. Uh, I mean, it, uh, right now it, it it throws decent light, but those are incandescent bulbs. So I'll get some nice white uh, LEDs in there. And of course, if I have to do some nighttime running, we'll just turn them off. Alrighty, uh, that's that's enough. For this, um, thank you for your time and thank you for checking out uh, my video and you all have a great day. Bye.